Now, let us discuss about the biochemical pathway of normal and cancerous cells and how they differ in their biochemical pathways. Because if we look at the biochemical pathways of uh, those cells, we can distinguish between the functionality of those cells and we can track down how cancer is formed. So normally, when a cell needs to divide, it must first replicate its DNA and it does so in the phase called S phase or synthesis phase where the DNA is duplicated. And before division, the cell goes through a, uh, a growth phase, which is called the G2 phase, in which more cytoplasm and organelles are made after, the, um, after making different cytoplasm and organelles because they need to share those organelles to the next offspring. So during the prophase state of mitosis, duplicated chromosomes condense, uh, the mitotic spindle begins to form. So spindle forms and the microtubule organizing center is duplicated and they attach to the different chromosomes in metaphase. The nuclear envelope breaks down microtubules attached to the chromosomes kinetic code align, aligning them the mitotic spindles equator and we will fi finally make what is called the metaphasic plate and after making those metaphasic plate the sister chromatics are pulled apart by spindle microtubules during anaphase. This uh, creates the daughter chromosomes separate and not only daughter chromosomes separate but via the last phase of the mitosis which is the telophase finally the cytoplasm divides and it forms two new daughter cells uh, and the nuclear envelope reforms around the two nucleus while cytokinesis begins and after the cytokinesis they finally have two, two new offspring of cells and those cells are not uh, stayed like that the cells is arrested in G0 phase the cell arrive out normal functions uh, but does not divide must and uh, human cells or most of the human cells are in G0 phase the G1 is another stage of cell growth prior to the synthesis phase because it is a it means uh, the the growth of the cell uh, as a cytoplasm development and organelle development and they are actually making ready for uh, their future purposes it actually the cells spend a majority of their time to the gap phases like G0 G1 and G2 mitosis and synthesis are relevantly brief uh, a portion of the cell life cycle okay now let's talk about normal cell proliferation in normal cells will divide in a presence of a chemical signal such as growth factor uh, other molecule signals from within the cells or from environmental can cause the cells to halt the division and those uh, in healthy tissue the damaged cells uh, here in this case are eliminated by program cell death and is replaced when the neighboring cells undergo mitosis so when the cell goes mitosis it is replaced okay so this is a normal process which is going on all the time in our cell uh, cellular systems okay but when uh, a mutagen, for example, a UV light may lead to mutations in the cellular DNA, the mutated cell with the damage uh, in uh, critical areas of the DNA can undergo mitosis wh wh whether or not growth factor is present. So that makes those cells really, really dangerous for dividing. Now we, we can pick a cell and we'll pick one of those cells and let's talk about their biochemical pathway. So let's talk about normal cells. So first understand about the normal cell and the pathway of this normal cell to go again. So we have different proteins. For example, we have kinase, uh, PI3 kinase. We have RAS proteins, uh, which is which which is really important. We have the IGF receptor protein, which which actually recept IG, uh, which is IGF is a growth factor. So the presence of growth factor can uh, cause the cell to enter the cell cycle and undergo mitosis. With the IGF attaches to the cell membrane receptor, it activates a molecule of chain reaction. We call them the signal transduction. First, an enzyme on the inside of the cell membrane called the tyrosine kinase is, uh, is phosphorylated by ATP. And this tyrosine kinase further phosphorylates another protein which is PI3 kinase. It activates this PI3 kinase. And after the phosphorylation of PI3 kinase, this PI3 kinase is ready to phosphorylate or attach with a, another set of proteins. So, RAS protein binds with this PI3 kinase after the phosphorylation of PI3 uh, kinase. So RAS can only attach with the phosphorylated form of PI3 kinase and this RAS uh, with PI3 kinase can uh, phosphorylate the AKT kinase. So AKT kinase to become a uh, phosphorylated and when the AKT kinase is phosphorylated that AKT kinase leaves a signal or uh, leaves to form or phosphorylated AKT kinase causes a message to be sent to the nucleus activating the cell cycle. The cell undergoes mitosis replacing damaged or old cells and that's how what the overall things goes on and you can see here from the G1S to G, D1S G2M 
and all this phase is going on and the cell divides from uh, from uh, from his uh, parent to the offspring cells or two new cells from the one cell of a mitotic cell cycle sometimes even though igf is present in the environment the cell needs to stop dividing cells have internal controls that regulate the biochemical pathways leading to the cell division many different regulatory proteins work simultaneously within a cell and influence whether or not the cell divides uh, watch how one such protein which is p10 can prevent the mitosis from occurring so when when igf binds to the membrane receptor tyrosine kinase is phosphorylated by atp after the phosphorylation of tyrosine kinase by atp and that that will be phosphorylated that will phosphorylate pi3 kinase and it phosphorylated that pi3 kinase and after the phosphorylation of pi3 kinase uh, what p10 does p10 came to play and p10 approaches to the pi3 kinase phosphate link and p10 binds to the phosphorylate uh, for phosphate and moves that phosphorylate away from pi3 kinase without its phosphate pi3 kinase is not in the correct configuration to receive uh, the ras protein so ras does not bind and this pathway to mitosis is stopped so here we have a red signal going on in this traffic plate so that is how it normal cell division is controlled now let's talk about an apoptotic cell so if we talk about the cell where we have the programmed cell death and how this programmed cell death is normally achieved by this pathway well uh, when a cell is damaged and and, and growth or, or or the growth factor is not present in the environment regulatory proteins that lead to apoptosis uh, are formed and apoptosis is also called the program cell death here was the regulatory protein bad as it detects the nucleus of the cell uh, to self destruct so what is do what is the function of bad here the bad actually make that nucleus to destruct itself to producing uh, or to go through those cell cycle divisions so it stops growing that means it after some time it it will die and the culture media you can see uh, all the cells are actually uh, going to the phase of death we call them the apoptosis or programmed cell death sometimes when the igf1 is present the pathway to apoptosis can be turned off and it is needed watch how igf interferes with the bad regulatory protein here so what happens some when igf is present igf binds to the igf membrane receptor and after the binding of the uh, membrane receptor Uh, it, with the help of this tyrosine uh, kinase is phosphorylated and after the phosphorylation of tyrosine kinase this tyrosine kinase is eventually going to phosphorylate another kinase which is pi3 kinase so the tyrosine kinase phosphorylates pi3 kinase now, after the phosphorylation of this pi3 kinase uh, what, what this pi3 kinase is going to do this pi3 kinase is going to attach with a ras protein so it it, it eventually is going to be be attached with ras protein because it is phosphorylated and uh, and uh, here we can see this pi3 kinase attaches with ras is a normal binding after that it is going to activate the atk 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 uh, sorry akt kinase and it activates the akt kinase it phosphorylates the akt kinase it deactivates the bad so when the akt kinase is phosphorylated it deactivates the bad protein and apoptosis does not occur so when we have a lots of igf1 the apoptosis would not be occurred so that's how it is regulated uh, tightly and now let's talk about the cancer cells and the biochemical pathway that makes a normal cell in go into cancer cell so in this case what we have growth factor is required to start the pi3 kinase pathway however a mutation in pi3 kinase or ras or akt kinase can result in spontaneous activation and this spontaneous activation can leads to form cancer cell here pi3 kinase is mutated and can activate the pathway by itself so it is it, it is left unchecked it will cause uncontrolled cell division so it is phosphorylated on its own and this is not only phosphorylated by itself but fortunately the growth factor here in this case suppressor protein p10 can uh, take uh, those phosphate away from pi3 kinase that, that and thus they can stop the phosphorylation phosphorylation auto phosphorylation and runaway mitosis uh, 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 and cancer are averted in this case via the presence of p10 protein so p10 is acting here for a good purpose so not allowing the cell go into uh, into the uh, into a cancer cell when both P pi1 and kinase uh, are and p10 are mutated Uh, then neither can perform its function correctly so normally in this case uh, in the previous step we saw the p10 helps it uh, helps this 
PIC kinase to stop uh, by uh, acting uh, that much effectively but when the P10 is inactivated and P PI kinase is over reactive and P10 is ineffective and in this stage it results the formation of cancer cells. So we have lots of PIC kinase which can bind with RAS and this PIC kinase RAS protein can activate or can phosphorylate AKT kinase and this AKT kinase is then then it's gonna turn on the cell division cycle. So we have seen this cell division uh, will go on and on and on. It will produce a green signal and that that will that will leads to the normal cell cycle division and producing many cells from one cell and which is the characteristic symbol of uh, cancerous cell division or malignancy or apo uh, that's why it's not actually obeying the rule of apoptosis in all these cases okay so this is uh, the biochemical pathway of cancer so in this cancer cells they are obey not obeying the rules of no normal cell regulation normal cell division so in this case so to make a normal cell into cancer cell we not only have to have a mutation in one only for PIC kinase but, but we also need to have the mutation in the control protein for example here is P10 so if we have this then only we, we can have a cancer cell so we have discussed about the normal cell and cancer cell pathway actually this is an animation for HHMI you can uh, log on to HHMI in uh, interactive course and you can see uh, these magnificent animations which are made. It's really really good animation to understand between, between the difference of biochemical pathways of normal and cancer cell and that, that's going to give us the idea of how a, how a cell can become a cancer cell. I, I, have go I hope that's going to help you and that's all.